I put a whole bag of jelly beans up my ass. Hello, everybody. Welcome to what might actually be the final episode of Pikmin 4. We all know I've been playing this game for a hot minute, but I think we might actually be near the end. Maybe. Here we go. Back to the primordial thicket for the last time. Okay, here we are. Let me just pull out some Pikmin. Oh, you know what? I never raided the Pikmin, did I? I think I should do that really quick. Okay, and last place we have... Um, um, who's it gonna be? I, I don't know. It's actually gonna be yellow Pikmin. Because in this game, I mean, they're good, but they kind of took away their whole conducting electricity thing. Because, like, you don't really use that to turn lights on and stuff in this game. So, I don't know. They're probably the least useful. Second to last, I think I'll put whites. Even though they're great, and I love them. I love all the Pikmin. They're just, like, you know, I don't know. They're just kind of there. And, like, sometimes there's poison. And they do good. But other than that, it's like, mm. Third to last, I'm putting blue Pikmin because they just don't do it for me. Fourth to last, I'll put reds. I mean, they're great, but you know, I mean, they're they're reds. That's all I can really say about them. Fourth place, I think I'll go with purples because purple's my favorite color. So, you know, they get a little bit of privilege. Third place, I didn't forget about them. Glow Pikmin. I think they were good. I like the whole glow mob thing. And, you know, they're kind of like the central point of night missions. So... Second place, it's between these two. I'm gonna have to give second place to the winged Pikmin and first place to the rocks. Cause you know, the winged Pikmin, they were my favorite in Pikmin 3, but I just love rock Pikmin so much. I mean, just look at them. How could you not love that? All right, well, now that we've done that, I guess I'll just pull out some of these guys cause that's who I feel like taking out right now. Oh, also, I should probably talk about Super Mario Bros. Wonder. I don't think I'm gonna do a full series on that game. Yeah, sorry to disappoint, but I don't know. I mean, I also already played through it and 100%ed it, so I don't really feel like replaying it now. But yeah, I don't know. It was good. I liked it, but I just don't feel like making a whole series about it. But you know what I do want to make a series on probably is Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door, because I've never gotten to play that game before because it's like so hard to find. But, you know, they're making the remake, so I think I will make a series on that whenever it comes out. Anyway, what are we doing here? I think I need to go find that mysterious rock. What are the Pikmin doing right now? Why are they like... Like, are they getting possessed? Hello? Oh, here we are. Now the rock's gone, and we just got a little mysterious cave hole. Ooh, cavern for a king. Finally tamed that huge dog thing. I'm gonna lie low for a while in its den. It's really deep, and there are plenty of snacks. The others will give up and go home. Wow, it's even got side-eyeing ball borbs. It's Louis log. He must be hiding somewhere around here. Well, yeah, he literally did just say he's down the hole, so. Oh, wow, there are 48 treasures down here. Oh, did you see that picture of Louis? He was just, like, standing in the darkness. It kind of sucks that we can't bring every single type for the last cave, but I guess this is an interesting little combo. Actually, you know what? Hold on, I've got a little idea. We're just gonna jump down the hole and we'll leave 30 Pikmin unaccounted for. Okay, here we are on the first sub-level. Oh my god, what is that creature over there? If Louie is around here, that giant dog won't be far behind. We need some of its cells to cure Ochi. Whatever you do, don't let it get away. How are we gonna take its cells? We're just gonna like walk up to it and scrape some off? Oh my god, look at that thing. Okay, but first thing first. Look at this. I forgot there were going to be candy pop buds down here, so actually I might be able to make every single type of Pikmin, but first, I have a couple spare glow seeds that need to be used. Maybe that'll be my goal, to end this cave with every type of Pikmin in hand, but yeah, there we go. Also, I just want to know, can you throw glow Pikmin into candy pop buds? Oh, you can! That's kind of nice, because then they can, like, come back as real Pikmin and stay with you. So then later, whenever I find another candy pup bud, I'll probably just throw those five whites into it. But it looks like we're gonna need a lot of whites for this area, because that is, like, a modified version of the puff stool. And, oh my god, I love the way that looks. Hold on, first we got a couple things to ram. Hurry up and call them back. Oh, oops, shouldn't have done that, I guess. Oh my god, he's running over here. What is he doing? Oh, is he about to poison? Oh, he sure is. Oh my god! He just brought that guy back to life. Oh my god. Oh, he's doing it again. He is doing it again. Oh, oh, he brought those mushrooms back to life too. I love this guy. Okay, well, we gotta kill all his little minions. Then he'll be sad, maybe. No, he won't stop bringing everything back to life. Stop that, you little creature. Oh my god, I cannot get over the way he waddles over. Oh, okay, there was one Pikmin that stayed on him. Ah, what a little trooper. I'm gonna try and, like, distract it by killing all these things. And then maybe it'll, like, run over here. And then I can run over here and kill these mushrooms. Okay, that guy just, like, killed that mushroom for me, actually. All right, this isn't working. We're just running around in circles. I need to go over here and I'm going to leave everything except for whites and glow Pikmin with me. There we go. This is a better plan, I think. I'm more prepared now. Oh, look at him. Oh, he is running for that thing. Okay, I'm gonna ram onto him before he could do anything. I should have probably glow mobbed. That would have been a good idea. 
But look at them, they're completely immune. Okay, this is good so far. And then Ochi can ram that guy while he's distracted. And then he's gonna try and do it again, even though it doesn't work, clearly. But he's just a silly little goose, so he doesn't know that. Here we go, final hits. Oh! Toppled him. Well, that was a really good boss. Now we can actually permanently kill these guys. I guess you could call it a circus down here, because that was pretty intense. Alright, anyway, time to go to the next floor. Oh my god, 5%? 5%? Um... Hold on, let me do some math. Does this place have 20 floors? Um, excuse me, Mr. Balborb. You can't come into my hidey hole. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my god, I literally cannot get over that Balborb. Like, look at him, he's just hiding. You know what? I have a billion red potions. I think we should use some of them, don't you? Oh yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, how many red potions do I have? 66. Okay, I think we're we're not gonna be very sparing with those down here. Oh, and we've got a cute little music box. Hold on, we should see if it plays a little song. It's definitely playing a song, but I don't know what song that is. Not all treasures have been collected. Wait, what? I didn't know that was a thing. Wait, where is there another treasure on this floor? Is it in here? Oh, it's hidden in the bushes. That is literally the first time we've ever seen that message, and it was in the final cave. That's nice that it warns you, though, because I would have probably screamed if I forgot something in here. All right, sub-level three... It looks like there's nothing in this room, which is kind of freaking me out a little bit. Hold on, I think we've got to go in with just Ochi and the Glow Pikmin and see if something comes up. Okay, it's Snagrits. Okay, it's multiple Snagrits. What do you think you're doing? Peck me. Peck me, you little dirty rat creature. I need him to do that. Yeah, scream and then charge all the Pikmin right onto his head. That's like the best way to kill them. This guy's next. I guess you could also ram onto their head when they come out of the ground. But I feel like sometimes the Pikmin just decide to miss for some reason. Oh yeah, there we go. This strategy is a bit more reliable, I think. Alright, just one bird left. Here, I'll try and do it right now. Oh, okay, see, like, they got on there, but it, it didn't kill them as fast. Oh, okay, what a perfect time for my controller to give out. They should have had two big Snagrits and then hit a little baby Snagrit in one of these eggs over here. Oh yeah, shove all three of those birds right into that thing. I can't believe I haven't lost a single Pikmin yet. I think I should probably try and keep it that way. Oh look, that's weird. There's like a little bit of snow over here, probably because of that guy. Wait, what is going on? Oh my god. Oh, look at that. He rolls the snowball all the way down this path. Oh, oh my god. Those bulb orbs. They just got caught in the snowball. Oh, okay. Oh my god, he just murdered. I guess you could call those murders pretty cold-blooded. Oh, but look, you can literally just, like, walk right around them if you try hard enough. Uh, except maybe not that one. Okay, I'm just gonna run over here, and then ram this way. Okay, and take out that guy, uh, and then jump up here to the safe spot. Well, clearly this guy needs to pay for his crimes of Balbor murder, so I've got just the thing for him. Hey, you little rat creature! Eat this bomb rock! Eat it! Eat it! Okay, or don't- it Ah! Oh! Oh my god! Well, that could have gone a little better. I hope my Pikmin don't go flying all over the place when we hit this wall. Okay, I think they're all still here. I have to make somebody eat a bomb rock. Like, that's the whole thing, kind of. Hold on. I need to time it right. Why is he just, like, dancing? Okay, here we go. I'll throw it now, and then he can suck it in really good. Okay, that was good. And then I just skedaddle on behind him, or not. Excuse me, sir, you're being a little rat creature. I don't know if you knew that or not. Hold on. This time I've got him. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna survive that. Okay, or he might just barely. But he's not gonna survive this one. No, no, no. Now I have to carry all these golf balls all the way back down there. I really like that floor. That was creative with the whole, like, path-following snowball thing. Oh, this looks like Ball Black's floor. Are some of these not Ball Blacks's? Because this one looks like it doesn't have eyeballs. Wakey, wakey, a little ball orb. Okay, there he comes. Oh, oh, he screamed, and he got everybody else out of the floor. All right, well, come over here and try and lick me, and then I'll get you. I should just be able to ram and, like, kill these guys really quickly, I think. Oh, yeah. Or, you know what else I could do? I could use a little glow mob, because I didn't bring all these glow Pikmin for nothing. And then I could ram with Ochi and get everybody on there. Yeah, I think that's like the safest option. Oh, okay. Just drop a pair, why don't you? What's in this big egg over here? Okay, more nectar. These floors aren't too bad so far. And we are officially a fourth of the way through this cave. Oh my god, it's Louie. He's on this floor. Oh, there he goes, running away just like always. Go get him, Veronica. This kind of seems like a little bit of a rest floor, which we didn't see too much throughout this game. In Pikmin 2, there were like a bunch of rest floors that would just have a bunch of candy pub buds on them. Also, I just got another potion. This week, I missed two days of school because I had to do this thing called County Chorus, and I only signed up for it like a month ago, 
because my one friend was doing it who does like a bunch of chorus events and I never do them because I just like, I don't know, I don't really like missing school to go do stuff because then I have to make up a bunch of work. But anyway, I was like, sure, I'll do this one with you only because I didn't have to like do an audition or anything. So uh, it was like the day before and then my friend who I only signed up because he was going tells me that he's not going anymore. And I was like, are you kidding me? So I was forced to go with other people who I was friends with, but like not as good of friends with. So yeah, it was, it was honestly, it was not good at all. There was a bunch of people from different schools and we learned these really like difficult songs kind of in two days. And we were there for so long. Like the first day we were there for the full school day, but the second day we were there for 12 hours just singing. And we were standing on these crowded risers and oh my God, nobody had any concept of space. Like people were bumping into me left and right. I was like, oh, this is terrible. And then there was this guy who like came up to our group of people and introduced himself to us and he was only 15 but he looked older than me and I was like what but yeah he was like shaking our hands and asking us how old we were and I was like that's a little weird but anyway later I was sitting down like just doing whatever and he comes up to me and literally he like points behind me and he's like look at that guy and I'm like oh, I was so surprised so I just did it and um then he um I don't know how else to say this he rizzed me up yeah, yeah, it was very traumatic. I don't think I'll ever recover, but I was looking away and he grabbed my face, grabbed my face, and then pulled it back towards him and just held it there for a second and like stared into my soul. So that was a little bit horrifying, but um, I couldn't even muster up the words to say anything. So I just went, hello. And then he let go of me and walked away without saying anything. But yeah, definitely not the best two days of my life. Anyway, on to sub-level 7. Oh, look who it is. I love these big old blowhog bosses. I just have to be really careful with ramming on these floors because I don't want to accidentally throw all my Pikmin off the edge. Good thing these guys are such big targets. Aw, look at that. And they both dropped a little macaron. Where does this mushroom go? Does it just bounce me back down here? Oh, okay. It's just a fun little mushroom ride. Oh, this floor looks a little bit watery. Oh my god, it's him. I have wanted to get revenge on this guy for so long, ever since the time I first fought him, and he killed a bunch of my Pikmin because I didn't know how to get him. I mean, it's only right to feed him a bomb rock, don't you think? Um, oh, hey, eat this. Eat this bomb rock. Eat that. Okay, or don't. I have to be kind of careful when I'm trying to throw bomb rocks at him, though, because I don't want him to, like... Oh, okay, never mind. I did that perfectly. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now I'm gonna get your little tail, you little rat creature. Oh, he shook them off, though. This guy is such a little creature. But now that we have purple Pikmin, I think we could weigh down his tail, yeah, really fast. And then I'll just murder him with the rest of them. Oh, they're close. Oh, they did it. There we go. And he dropped a nice little dapper blob. Oh, man, it legs in the water. This is a fun idea. Oh, look at that. I never noticed. Whenever you switch between Ochi and Veronica, the glow Pikmin just follow whoever you're on. I guess I could always just run back there if I need a safe space. But for now, I'm just going to get out on this little island. And before he wakes up, I'm going to glow mob him, I think, just to get a little bit of extra damage in. Okay. There he goes. Oh my god. Oh, oh, he shoots really fast in the water. Oh my god. Okay, actually, I guess it's not that he shoots fast. It's just that I move slow. Oh, but do you see that? He stands in the water. So if I throw one of those, and then I throw a bunch of Pikmin on him really quick. Oh, then I could freeze him. That is a pretty good idea, I think. Oh, but the ice is about to melt, so I'm gonna have to run away really quick. Oh my god, Ochi can just, like, barely swim fast enough to get out of his machine gun range. You know, if I had to rate all the bosses in this game, I think I'd definitely put this guy somewhere near the top, because I don't know what it is about him, but I just love him so much. This should be the final little burst, and you know what? I am gonna toss one of these into the water, and I'm gonna freeze him so we could just shatter him, you know, just for fun. Oh, yes. Perfect, because then maybe he'll drop an extra little potion. Oh, yeah, look at all of that. Not that I really need another potion, but you know, I just want it for fun. Well, that was another really good floor. I am honestly loving this cave so far. Oh, this floor is dark and muddy, and is that who I think it is? Oh my god. Okay, we've only ever seen this guy at night before, but at least we've got cute little glow caps. Gotta love them. This guy could literally kill all of my Pikmin so easily. Does he still do his little attack? Oh, he sure does. I do love that attack, though. It's very pretty looking. Maybe I should glow mob him, you know, because the Pikmin are so used to doing that anyway. Oh my god, I froze him in the weirdest position. You know what else I kind of feel like doing? I want to throw a little mine directly onto his face. Oh yeah, that's what you get, you little creature. Like, I literally do not know what to do other than, like, glow mob 
and then I don't want to rush because they're all going to fly into his poisonous area. I honestly think the solution is just slowly do that, and then maybe I could freeze him a little bit. I don't know about that, though. Oh, I don't know. I might actually get this freeze off right now. Oh my god, I froze him. Oh, wow. Uh, do I ram him? Yeah, that's the solution. Oh my god, I'm about to shatter this guy. Wow. And he dropped, like, five potions. Jesus. That was actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. I was fully prepared to just lose all my Pikmin. We are officially 50% done. Oh, here's Louie again, just kind of standing there. Wow, this floor is really dark, but there's something glowing like crazy over there. Oh, it's these guys. Okay, these guys were kind of weird, but they weren't the worst. Should I use a bomb rock? I don't know. Oh, actually, that guy just turned around for like no reason. I'll just kill him with my purples then. Hey, hey you, come into this water really quick. I've gotta admit, I'm like completely obsessed with forcing enemies into water and then freezing them with those little ice bombs. I love it so much. Yeah, honestly, purples are like perfect for killing these guys. Now, what are we doing over here? Ooh, I see a big old flower garden over there. It's just a bunch of like nice things. And you know what? I don't think I'm gonna kill any of these butterflies because it's not like I need more potions or nectar or anything really. So I think I'll just let them live. And there we go. What a nice peaceful little floor. Oh, look at this floor. We've got a little... Gildemander over there. I think that's what that's called. Okay, there we go. I got all of the mold. Now, what do we do about this guy? I'm thinking purples on the back and then just rip all the gold stuff off of it first. And then maybe actually just throw some purple Pikmin directly onto his body. And if I could freeze him, that'd be nice too. And then wow... This thing is maybe picking that piece up, or maybe it doesn't want to. Oh no, this poor thing. Its pieces are all over the place, and it is dead. Oh my god, a whole pumpkin came out of it. Sub-level 14. Give it up for sub-level 14. And who do we have down here? Oh, okay. We've got the whole armored cannon beetle family, even though technically the big one is a horned cannon beetle, so, you know, they're not really the same. Can I make these guys hit each other with their rocks? I don't think I've ever done that before. Hit your child with a rock! Oh, that's a bad thing to yell, but look at him. Oh, he did it. Yeah, now do it again to this one. Oh yes, come out of the ground. Perfect timing. And you're next over here. Actually, can this one hit him with a rock? That's a good question. Actually, it looks like the rocks kind of curve around him. Oh, 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 is he gonna do it? Oh, he just barely missed. Come on, one more rock should do it, I think. Right into the back. Okay, now I'm gonna toss a little glow Pikmin in there really quick, and I might actually be able to kill him in one go right now. Well, probably not, but that was pretty close. That means this one will definitely get him. Oh, yeah. Eggplant Central. I don't even know why I've been collecting all the bodies on all these floors, because Sparklium doesn't matter anymore at all. But, I don't know. I just like it. You know what? Actually, yeah, I am gonna stop collecting all these bodies, because it's just wasting a bunch of time. Except now this body is, like, in the way. I've gotta say, I am loving all the bosses down here. Pikmin bosses are, like, my favorite boss fights in any game, I think. Oh, look at this floor. This is a lot of color compared to all the other ones. Oh, and look who's here. Good old Shuey. Oh, and this guy's here too, stomping around in the water. Oh, it actually only takes 10 ice Pikmin to freeze this water. That is absolutely perfect for me, because it lets me use my little freeze strategy. And then we can just get a bunch of purples on him right here. Oh my god, look at that health bar just draining. And you know, might as well get a little glow mob on him too while we're at it. Oh, perfect. And he exploded into a bunch of little buttons. Oh, I think you were actually supposed to, like, climb up these things and then reach his head from up here, but I kind of like my way better. Well, that was a great floor. 10 out of 10 floor. It had color. It had long legs. What else could you ask for? Uh-oh. Look at the shape of this floor. I think I know who's down here. Oh my god, wow, he came right down. He shouldn't be too bad, though, because I do have purple Pikmin. Oh my god, he came down right in front of me. Oh, Mr. Water Wraith. You were scary once, but now you're just like a little creature, just like everybody else. Okay, except when you whack me with your arms. Oh, excuse me, who are you? Why are there two Water Wraiths down here? Yeah, he can't get to me, though, because the other guy's in the way. Why aren't the attacks working? Oh, oh my god, that was so close. Did you see that? Also, I don't know what Colin was talking about, because the attacks are working. Come on, get him. Oh, yeah. Broke those rollers. But, of course, now that guy's just gonna be running around being annoying, which I guess is better than the rollers, though. Okay, that went much smoother than the first guy, but he just fell on all of us. Okay, great. Now we have to chase these guys around all over the floor and slowly kill them. Hey, hey, you. Yeah, you come back here right now, you little creature. Okay, you're next, Mr. Flappy Arms. Oh, do not slap my dog. Come back here. Oh my god, why does he run so fast? Oh, but that's the end for him. By the way, I love the way they look whenever they die, the way they just, like, explode. Oh, 
and we got a little Joy-Con. On to sub-level, like, a million or whatever we're on. There's just one enemy on this one, and it's the Empress Ball Blacks. Okay, how are you supposed to, um, fight her in this room? Hello? What? <laughs> Look at her just, like, stare, dead stare straight into the wall. I don't know what to do here. Is she gonna, like, have children or something? Well, when in doubt, throw purple Pikmin. Oh, wait, I know what the game wants you to do. Oh my god! Oh, well, that was really weird. Where am I? What is going on? Oh, there's rocks falling. Okay, Jesus, this is a little bit extreme. Oh, babies! Babies are falling down from the heavens. Okay, well, more purples. More purples will always fix my problems. This is crazy. Like, the way they thought of this tiny little arena is pretty creative, I've gotta admit. Oh, God, look at all those babies. She's crushing all her children. She's at, like, about a third of her health left, so I'm just gonna keep throwing purples and maybe kill her. Oh, my God. Yes. Wow. That was really crazy. And we even got a little fire-breathing feast for that, which I feel like a lot of these bosses are dropping fruits. I seriously cannot believe I didn't lose a single Pikmin right then, because that was like, I don't know, that was all over the place. Oh, okay. Is that sand? That looks like sand. Who should I throw at this guy? Maybe a little ice Pikmin? Oh yeah, perfect. And I think I'm definitely gonna have to feed this guy a bomb rock, because he loves to eat them, clearly. I threw that directly into his mouth. Okay. And then he's gonna explode a little bit, and then he's gonna fall down, and I'll charge everybody directly onto his face. Can they kill him? Oh my god, yes. Oh, and he dropped glasses. Okay, I guess we should have the glow Pikmin carry them back, since both those things are glowing. Well, that was a pretty quick floor. I think this is the second to last sub-level, and this place is completely full of treasure, it looks like. Oh, and it has the peaceful floor music, and there are a billion of these guys all over the place. Oh yes. More potions, because I definitely need those. Actually, I haven't done a potion check in a while. 83. Oh, look, and we have the three primary color candy pop buds over here. Oh, yes, look at all of this fruit. You'd think it was Pikmin 3 down here. All right, now that I've got all the treasure, I definitely want some yellows and reds to end this off. So I might actually transform a couple blues and whites. So I guess we won't have all of the Pikmin for this final floor, but you know, at least we have the original trio. Oh my god, I almost just returned to the surface. Where even is the exit to this floor? Oh, I think it's buried over here. Good thing we've got yellows to dig quickly. 95% progress, only one treasure left, and of course we still have to get Louie. Oh wow. Oh my god, look at that thing. All right, well, here we go. What is about to happen? There's no place left to run, Louie. It's time to give up and give in. Oh my god. Where is he going? Oh, okay, he just like went inside of that thing. That is a really scruffy dog. Oh my god. That thing is kind of horrifying. Oh my god, of course it screams. Everything screams. Oh, okay. Stop the giant dog's rampage. Oh my god, there's like a rock song playing in the background. Oh my god, Jesus. Oh, okay, he makes those things fall down from the sky. This is horrifying. Oh, okay, he really likes jumping around, doesn't he? Is he gonna charge at me? Oh, okay. Mm, I think he wants to eat a bomb rock, or maybe he wants to eat an ice blast. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh my god. Okay, I just completely missed with those ice blasts. Oh no, actually, I did hit him a little bit. Okay, I just have to throw, like, one more, and then he'll be frozen. Find a way to make it stay still. Ooh! Oh, he got that thing in its mouth. Okay. Oh, he's gonna eat that. And then I'm gonna charge all my Pikmin. Oh! Okay, that didn't work. That didn't work at all. Ah, get out of the way! Oh my god. This is literally insane. Um, I don't know what to do about this guy. Can I make him, like, ram into a wall or something? I am so confused. I'm assuming he can't come over here into my little safe area, though, so that's good. I think I need to disband all of the Pikmin, except can I actually disband Glow Pikmin? I don't know. Apparently not. Oh, maybe we need to make him ram into the rocks. Oh my god, he's like coming into my base area. I think that is what we have to do. Okay, come here, you little creature. Ram into this rock. You know you want to. Oh yeah, here he goes. Oh, right into the rock. And then I don't know what to attack. Oh, okay, it's tail. Perfect. Oh, oh, okay, they grabbed onto it. I don't know what's happening. Oh, he fell over. Oh, okay, now I have to attack its stomach. Okay. Oh my god, I'm doing a lot of damage to this thing currently. Oh my god, his little ground pounds are like so intense. Okay, now ram into this one, silly. You know you want to. Oh my god! I was not ready for him to just jump straight through that. Here, I want him to come this way now. Oh yeah, here he goes. Okay, perfect. And then I just have to throw a couple of Pikmin onto his tail. I guess we're going with Glow Pikmin because that's just what I had on. And then you know what? I have all of these items on me. We've got to use them on something. So how about I throw some Trachinators, or not Trachinators, what are those things? Mines, onto his stomach, and then blow him up a little bit. 
Do you think they'll do like a lot of damage? No, they did like no damage. But I do want to use some of my Trachinators though, so you know, maybe I'll just like throw them around and make them chase them a little bit and see if they do anything. Um, they did like one damage. I absolutely love the design of this guy though. He is like, oh my god, he's like so intense looking. Oh yeah, there he goes. Okay, and then how about I throw two purples onto his tail, or three, just for good measure, and then I'm gonna use a red potion, and then I'm gonna throw a bunch of Pikmin onto him. Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at all this damage. Ooh, okay, that was pretty good. And Louie is just riding on top of him, balancing the whole time somehow. Oh yes, he loves ramming into things. Flipped over, now I just gotta throw a bunch of purples. Oh, oh he's dead. Oh, but he's not really dead though. Oh, oh he just changed forms? What is going on? He's like icy now. Oh my god, look at him. Oh, snowballs! He makes little puffy snowballs! That was kind of cute. Holy Jesus! Oh my god, this is- what, what is happening right now? Oh my god! No, my Pikmin! No, they're everywhere! Oh my god, this is insane! Oh, he just definitely got some people. He definitely just killed somebody. Uh, okay, he got four. That was kind of sad. Oh, oh, I have to get him whenever he's breathing out, probably, because his tail's down. Okay, there we go. Perfect, he fell over. Time for another little red potion, I think. And then throw all my Pikmin onto him. Now he's gonna make some more of those, of course. But I think if I just dodge really good and then stay out here, I could maybe get to his tail. Now just flip on over. Perfect. And I will attack you like crazy and use more red potions because I have too many. Okay, I should only have to get his tail like one more time. Oh yeah. And then I will ram all the Pikmin onto him. Oh yes. Perfect. I'm assuming he's gonna change forms again. Ooh, okay. Electricity. Oh, okay. Now he's got like a little electric ball things on the ground. Oh my god, he's like summoning lightning. Oh my god, this is literally insane. I hate the way he's like looking at me. Like, what do you want from me, you little creature? Let me just destroy that last little electric ball here, and then I don't know when I should go for his tail. Oh, okay, right now. Looks pretty good. While he's doing that electric thing, let me just sneak around. There we go. Purples for the win. Oh yes, look at all of that damage. I have to say, I am absolutely loving this fight so far. Like, this is everything a Pikmin final boss fight should be. Come over here, silly. I've got some purple Pikmin with your name on them. Okay, nice. And then ram them and use a red potion. And, okay, I think there might be a couple little, um, what are those things called? Damage caps in this fight, but you know. I mean, it is the final boss, so I guess that's okay. Oh my god, there's so much going on. There's so much going on in this fight right now, I don't know what to do. Oh, there goes all my Pikmin. They all just got electrocuted. I should only have to attack him a couple more times. Oh yeah, perfect. Now what's he gonna do? Oh my god, fire! He literally looks like a demon dog. Okay, now we've got these little fiery balls running around. Okay, oh my god, Jesus, he just hit that thing with a thing and it like exploded. Ooh, now we gotta play a little jump rope game with these fire rings. Now what's he doing? Oh, okay, of course, he makes them when he steps, but that's when we have to attack his tail. Perfect, and then a red potion, of course, and ram. Like, look at that, he makes these little things, and then if I don't break them fast enough- Oh my god, ah, the Pikmin are on fire! Okay, break that before he does anything crazy with it, and then drag him down by the tail again. Oh, he's doing the stomping thing again. Whenever that hits these, they like combust, oh my god, here we go. Final ram, maybe? I don't know if he's gonna have another form or not. Oh, yes he is! Ooh, he's green now. What is that? Poison, maybe? Oh, okay, it's flying. Um, Jesus. Oh, 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 it's like death. He's in full-on death mode now. Oh, what is that? Oh my god. I don't know what to do. Oh, I think I have to attack his tail right now, but I am not gonna make it, I don't think. Okay, just gotta avoid these little pools of death coming out of the ground and then pull him down by the tail. Oh, there he goes, crashing down as he should. Oh my god, look at him. Literally, the design of this boss is so amazing. He's standing, like, directly over one of these little, like, death well things, but maybe it'll be okay if I pull him down? Oh, okay, that wasn't good. That ram did not work. There we go, that's what I wanted to happen last time. One more round of attacks. What is he doing? He's doing a little scream. Um, hello? What is he doing? Is he gonna... Oh, okay. He's floating around peacefully now. Okay, oh my god, that one was a little bit too close for comfort. Oh, I just threw that purple Pikmin directly into the murdery hole. Oh no, oh my god. Seems like it's gonna be kinda hard to get this final hit. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, uh, one final ram should do it. And one final red potion, of course. Ooh, okay. He went back to his normal colors. Um... Oh, okay. Last little scream, of course. Gotta get that in there somehow. Ooh, and he dropped his collar. Is he, like, okay? Oh, no, he's running away. That was kind of sad. Oof, what a grade-A troublemaker. There, the dog's collar. It must have fallen off. 
It could contain lingering particles of fur from that giant dog. If so, I may just be able to make a medicine after all. It's kind of weird that the dog got away though. Like, I wanted to see him more. Hokitate Freight Employee Louie from Hokitate, the quiet new driver and the embodiment of the word troublemaker. He has a ravenous and alarmingly adventurous appetite. Oh, I forgot about those glow Pikmin. They're just kind of going to be left down there forever. Oh well, maybe they could find the dog. Cavern for a king. And we got Louie and the final pup drive that we need. I wonder what the name of that collar treasure was. It's the gift of friendship. Investigation complete, 100%. And we only lost four Pikmin. Yes, we finally rescued all of the castaways. Also, I didn't know when I was gonna mention this, but do you really think I only lost four Pikmin in that cave and I just did everything perfectly on my first try? No. I messed up like a billion times, but I cut it all out and made it look perfect. But now I'm gonna put in all the times that I messed up, so enjoy. Except I'm pretty sure you could just- Oh my god! Ah! Uh that one guy just got thrown off the edge. I'm kind of feeling like I should just red potion and then charge directly onto his face like that. Oh, someone died. <gasps> oh, okay. 50 Pikmin, 50 Pikmin just died. You know what? I think maybe we should just do a little ram directly onto his face. Oh no, why are those blue Pikmin stuck? Why are those blue Pikmin stuck? Why are those blue Pikmin stuck? What? Okay, here she comes rolling this way. Oh, oh my God. Oh no. Oh, wait, what do I do about this? Oh my God. Um, excuse me. Oh my god. No! No! You stupid ball orb! I hate you! Well, yeah. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Anyway, yeah, I totally only lost four Pikmin. Here we go. Alright, OG, let's get you cured. Oh, there we go. His cute little puffball tail's back. It worked! His tail, it's back to normal. Hmm, it appears to have no effect on Moss. If she was born with her leaf tail, there may be no way to revert her condition. Well, that's kind of sad. There must be some way to cure her. It's alright, Colin. This is how it's meant to be. Moss was born and raised on this planet. It would be wrong to change what she is for reasons she can't comprehend. This is her home. It's where she belongs. Aw. And there we go. We finally cured OG. <laughs> oh my god, look at him. What a success. We rescued all the castaways and cured every last leafling. We can go home without any regrets. Oh my god. There we go. All the Pikmin and Moss. Wow. That is too good. Oh, the onion. Oh, all the onions are coming along. Oh, and Olimar too, I guess. That makes sense. Can't leave him there. Oh, and now all the Pikmin are just gonna follow Moss. I guess that's good. Oh, oh my god. Okay. He's just there too, I guess. That was a really good final boss, I have to say. Pikmin 3's final boss is a little iffy, but this one was good. There we go. Back into space. Oh, there they go. Oh my god. That looks really pretty. Wow. The end. How nice. That game was so good. I love that so much. Like, that was so good. What a great Pikmin game. Until my next adventure. Oh. Pikmin 5. Oh, here we go. Our final results. Every rescue... I only lost 79 Pikmin throughout that whole game. That is really not bad. And everything else is 100% complete. Which Pikmin did I lose the most of? Blue Pikmin. And I never lost a single white Pikmin. Huh. That's interesting. Well, then, I guess that's gonna do it for the Pikmin 4 series. I think this was so good. I had such a fun time playing. And I hope everyone really enjoyed watching all the episodes. I think I might make a little funny moments compilation just for fun from all the episodes. And I'll probably post that soon. But, um, yeah. I guess that's it. As for what I'm doing next, I think I might play Pikmin 3. Just because, I don't know. And then we can figure out which game I really like better, this one or that one. But I guess for now, thank you all so, so much for watching this whole series. I really hope you enjoyed. And, yeah. I guess I'll see you with whatever happens next. Alright, bye!